Imagine a belief system where the God of the Old Testament is not the true God, but a flawed imposter. Welcome to Scythian Gnosticism, a branch of Gnostic Christianity that places Seth, the third son of Adam and Eve, as a spiritual savior. It's a belief system that's quite unique, to say the least. The God of the Old Testament, referred to as the Demiurge, is seen as a flawed and lesser God, not the true God. Quite a twist, isn't it? The true God, according to Sethians, is something far beyond our comprehension. A divine entity that transcends our mortal understanding. This belief system, as you can imagine, is a far cry from mainstream Christian thought. But it offers a fascinating perspective, doesn't it? Intriguing, isn't it? To view the world through a lens so different from mainstream belief. Now let's delve into the heart of Sethian Gnosticism, its mythology. At the core of Sethian mythology lies a compelling concept, that of divine sparks. These are fragments or pieces of the true God, the ultimate divine being, who remains unknown and unknowable. These divine sparks, however, are trapped within humans. They are held captive by a lesser divine entity known as the Demiurge. The Demiurge is often portrayed as a malevolent figure, an architect of the physical world, and the captor of the divine sparks. This brings us to the second key theme, the idea of gnosis or knowledge. In Scythian mythology, salvation is not attained through faith or good deeds, but through knowledge. This knowledge, the gnosis, is the understanding of the divine sparks within us and the demiurge who keeps them captive. It is the realization that we are more than mere physical beings, that we carry a piece of the true God within us. This knowledge is the key to freeing the divine sparks and allowing them to return to the realm of the true God. The third theme revolves around the role of Seth. In Sethian Gnosticism, Seth, the third son of Adam and Eve, is more than a biblical figure. He is a revealer, a bringer of Gnosis. It is Seth who guides humanity towards this knowledge. Through his teachings, humans can uncover the divine sparks within them, understand the machinations of the Demiurge, and find the path to salvation. In essence, Sethian Gnosticism is a journey of enlightenment. It encourages the exploration of the self, the understanding of the divine within, and the pursuit of knowledge above all. It is a mythology that challenges conventional religious thought, pushing the boundaries of what we consider divine and human. Thus, Scythian Gnosticism weaves a tale of divine deception, human potential, and the power of knowledge. Now that we've explored the core of Scythian Gnosticism, it's time for reflection. Indeed, Scythian Gnosticism, like any belief system, is a prism through which we can view the human condition, our relationship with the divine, and our pursuit of knowledge. It challenges us to ponder on the nature of God. Is God a remote entity, a distant creator far removed from his creation? Or is God an imminent presence, a divine spark within us waiting to be awakened? The Sethians believed in the latter, seeing themselves as divine beings trapped in the material world, yearning for release. This brings us to the second point of reflection, the potential for divinity within humans. The Sethians held that humans possess an inherent divinity, a spark of the divine light. This idea, radical as it may seem, encourages us to look inward, to recognize and nurture the divine within us. It invites us to transcend our mundane existence and strive for a higher state of consciousness. But how do we achieve this? The Scythians provided an answer, through knowledge. They believe that knowledge or gnosis is the key to salvation. It is not through blind faith or ritualistic practices, but through a deep personal understanding of the divine and our place in the cosmos that we can achieve liberation. This emphasis on knowledge underscores the value of intellectual curiosity, critical thinking, and personal spiritual exploration. So as we reflect on Scythian Gnosticism, we are called to question and to learn, to seek and to discover. We are urged to explore our own beliefs, to challenge our assumptions, and to be open to new perspectives. Whether we subscribe to Scythian ideas or not, we can appreciate their contribution to the rich tapestry of human thought. As we conclude our journey into the world of Scythian Gnosticism, remember this. Every belief system, no matter how different, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of existence. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep seeking knowledge.